okay so let's talk about uh, numerical stability of ODE okay now what do you understand by numerical st stability I'll, I'll explain it with you with an example so let us say we have a differential equation which is like this okay where lambda is some variable which is greater than zero okay and let us say we have initial condition so obviously this is an initial value problem okay y zero and obviously x is going to be greater than zero now i'm not uh, telling you the exact domain but i'm just telling you that it's going to be greater than zero so now if you want to solve if you solve this problem analytically you'll find out that the solution that you'll be getting the analytical solution that you'll be getting will be of this particular form okay now just to simplify simplify let us say lambda at this point is 1 and the initial condition was 1 that means what that means y0 is equal to So what we'll be getting is we'll be getting a solution something like this. So now if you plot this analytical solution, you know since this is a is to minus x, so the graph that you'll be getting is going to be something like this. That means as the value of x is increasing, the value of y is moving towards zero. So as x increases the value of y is reducing and it is approaching to zero okay so this is your analytical method now let us solve the same problem by Euler's method so we know the formula of Euler's method it says that new value is old value plus slope into h so if you write down that what you'll be getting is yi plus 1 yi now this is nothing but your i say by i so this is going to be minus of lambda into h into yi so this is going to be your Euler method but now here if you notice something very important is from analytical solution we know that as the value of x increases the value of y should go on reducing but if you see that in this case that is going to be governed by this okay if this value is greater than 1 then what is going to happen the value of y is going to increase are you getting it that means we will not be getting a proper solution and if the value of y is less than 1 then the value of y sorry if the if this this value is less than 1 then the value of y that we will be getting will go on reducing with every iteration so one thing is clear that with every iteration when you talk about approximate method for this problem the value of y should go on reducing okay and how did we came to conclusion we came to conclusion with this so that means your approximate solution should be like this should should go on following this line okay. so as i said this is going to govern that particular thing okay so for that to happen what what should be the what should be the condition the condition should be that this should be this factor this is also known as what growth factor so your growth factor should be less than one so that means what what if you solve this you'll find out that the value of h that you should select should be from 0 to 
so this is known as your stability condition okay if you select the value of h something else you'll get a totally different solution okay so this is one very important thing that you have to understand that you cannot select the value of h randomly okay you should it should satisfy this stability condition okay. if you are not going to follow this stability condition what is going to happen the solution that you will be getting is going to be something wrong now to demonstrate that I have made a small MATLAB script so that I will be able to show you guys how that happens so to demonstrate that what I have done is I have made a MATLAB script here so if you can see here this is my equation that I am going to solve by Euler's method this is my lambda and for uh, ease let us say lambda is equal to 1 just to simplify things okay so by this rule the value of h should be should lie between 0 and lambda is 1 that means 0 0 to 2 so if you are going to put any value that is between 0 and 2 the curve that should that you should get the solution that you should get should be stable and if you put any value which is greater than 2 the solution that you will be getting the step size that uh, the, the solution that you will be getting is going to be something dif different so this step size should be between 0 and 2. So let us experiment this and let us try to see what happens if we, if we do that. So this is my MATLAB program. If you see, I have defined few constant here, same, uh, step size. So before I proceed, it is always a good habit whenever you're defining some constant, make sure you define it with capital letters. Okay, It's, it's not a rule here, but it's a good practice. If, if you want to be a good programmer, this is what you should follow. And this is the vector that I have defined. Then this is my analytical solution. And this is the Euler's method that I have solved here. This is my Euler's method. Okay. I'll share this script with you so that you guys can look at it. So at present, the step size that I have taken is 0 0.05. Okay. Which is between 0 and 2. So I think this should be stable. So when you run this graph, you'll realize that the solution that you're getting is stable if you see this is your uh, dash line is your analytical solution and the orange line is your Euler's method now let us uh, change this and let us make this as two it should be less than two so if you if you make it two let us see what happens if you make the step size two you'll realize see what is happening the solution that you're getting is not stable okay and if you if you enter 2.5 let us say again the solution that you'll be getting is going to be what it's going to be unstable again if you want to try out different values which is more than 2 let us say 3 and see how the solution that you're getting is so unstable but if it is between 0 and 2 let us say 0 0.5 okay and if you run this you see how it is it is going to be stable okay now also one more one more thing obviously it should be between 0 and 2 but if you take some value which is very close to 2 that is like 1.5 it is again going to be it is again going to be unstable okay so if you do that you'll find out see how unstable it is so you have to select the step size which is not very close to the extremities okay it should not be very close to two it should be less than less than very very less than two so i think the best choice here is going to be zero point if i take 0 0.05 so the solution that i'll be getting here you see is going to be perfectly aligned to the analytical solution so this is known as the stability issue 